Hi guys, just wanna to touch base with you guys and just wanted to share some things that I have experienced in my walk with God that I had to come to terms with was that I am responsible for my life. If I want my life to go a certain direction, if I wanna accomplish certain goals, then my life is my responsibility. And I say that because I have to remind myself because it's so easy and I did it a lot of times and sometimes I still do, I'll fall into that and that is to do the victim mentality, right? You know, if it wasn't for my husband, if it wasn't for my children, if it wasn't for my boss, you know, if it wasn't for this coworker, um, then, then I could accomplish and I could be and I could do when all along it's on me, right? It's on me and how far I want to get in life and how successful I want to be. It's not on anybody else, right? And so that's something that I had to acknowledge um, in my life in order to be able to grow, in order for me to be able to succeed in these areas in my life. And so um, I remember a time where my husband had passed away and and I was taking my son to a little birthday party of a little friend and it was in this really rich neighborhood. And I mean, we were, I was struggling bad financially. And so when I dropped him off and I was getting down and walking him to the door, you know, there were some other families coming up and they looked like they were well to do. And it was a husband and a wife. And here I was not married, you know, I was a widow and, and you know, just struggling. And I remember getting in the car and just being so angry and saying, you know what, God, how come they can and I can't? You know, why other people, you know, that it goes well for them and, and it's not for me. And I remember the Lord impressing on me and saying, well, if you want what they want, then work at it. Right? And that kind of shut my mouth for that moment. <laughs> because you got to roll up your sleeves and you got to work just as hard. You know, we may look at people that are successful, but we don't know the struggle or the hardships that they've had to go, go through to get there, right? We think it's just, you know, put your hand out and then you'll get it, right? And so I had to like really had a, re I had to have a reality check in that and realize if you're unhappy, if you're not satisfied on whatever area in your life, it's on you. It's your, it's on you. It's your fault, but it's also on you to make the difference. You don't have to wait on anybody. You just got to take a step out and start moving towards the, what, whatever that looks like for you to be successful. If you have to go back to school, if you have to take a certification, um, if you have to take a class, whatever it's going to take. I had to, you know, start to educate myself, gain some knowledge in the area that I wanted to pursue. And so that meant that I was signing up for workshops. I was reading books to learn from other individuals that had the similar industry that I was interested in. Um, and so I had to step out of my circle and to gain some wisdom, to gain some knowledge, to gain some experience. I remember in the Bible, there was a story where uh, there was a man laying by a pool and, and every year an angel would come and stir the pools and people would be able to go in the pool and get healed. And I remember that there was a man that said he'd been there for a lot of years and Jesus went up to him and he said, you know, do you want to be healed? And, you know, it's such a strange question because you think, well, heck, he's there. I mean, doesn't that mean he wants to be healed? <laughs> But the reality was that he had a victim mentality because then he started saying, well, you know, every time the angel comes and by the time, you know, somebody helps me and, and you know, to get there. And, and Jesus said, look, you want this or not, right? Because it's there for you. But you got to put in the work too. You got you to gotta step out. And you got to do your part. I'm not going to hand things to you. Man, when God would speak to me like that, I was like, ooh, you know. I mean, he would, you know, I mean, it's just, it's just a fact. And, you know, another thing, the third thing that I started to learn, and I didn't have to make a decision on this. It just kind of evolved into that was that you're 
you know, your relationships with your family or friends, if they're toxic, while you're trying to make take these steps to better yourself, um, you might get some hating on that. And that's just part of life, you know? You're not gonna always have the same group of people in your life. And so you have to be okay with that. You know, they're going one direction, you're going in another. You know, I remember when I when I gave my life to Christ and and you know, I just felt good, I felt new, I felt like I just felt free, you know? And I I remember going soon after that to a house party because that's what I would do. I would drink and stuff. And as soon as I walked in, you know, they handed me a drink and I was like, something inside of me said, you know what, you're not the same. That's not you anymore. And I thought, you know what, that isn't me. I don't, I don't, that doesn't even, you know, that's not, that's not me. And so I just, you know, declined and I said, you know what, I'm good. Thank you though. And they're like, are you sure? You know, and I said, no, I'm good. Thanks. And so it wasn't long before I started to, after that, I started to gravitate towards, you know, church activities and, and church involvement and just growing in the things of God, learning this new life that I had. And so before you knew it, I wasn't getting invited to those house parties and, you know, they were doing their thing, but I was doing my thing. You know, understand that that can happen. And if it does, it's part of the process, right? So... Again, I had to come to the place where I said, you know what, I'm responsible, it's on me. Make it or break it, it's on me. Um, I need to go get some knowledge and understand if this is what I'm wanting to do, this is where I wanna grow, then I need to find some people that are successful in it so I can learn from them, right? Whether it's through a workshop or a book that I'm reading. And then the next thing was that my circle of friends, they changed, right, over time. And so, I hope this helps. If you like the content, please subscribe. I hope you continue to watch and do something good for you. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.